Today we're going to be showing you our list of the best free apps for the Apple Watch. We have everything from an easy tip calculator that will let you calculate tips right on your watch to an amazing fitness app that will track all of your activity. We've broken it down into the top five categories of applications for your Apple Watch, including the best utilities, news apps, social apps, shopping apps, health and fitness apps, and additional miscellaneous apps that work very well on your Apple Watch and increase its functionality to its max potential. Let's get started on the best applications. Let us know in the comments section below what your favorite Apple Watch applications are especially if they're not present in this video because I'm sure new apps are going to come out all the time and eventually there's going to be more apps than were available when this video came out. So let us know what your favorites are in the comments section below. That way you can share it with the community and I look forward to reading them. Alright, let's continue with the video. Another great little application that's available on your Apple Watch is the Dictionary app. Now this app also lets you access the word of the day but the best feature is the search, which lets you instantly search whatever word you're trying to either spell or look up the definition. Quantum Mechanics. As you can see, it'll bring us right to the definition, give us a little bit of information, and you can also see more on the iPhone as well. So it's just a slight, small definition. However, it could be very useful if you don't want to have to take out your phone to look something up. The next app I'm just going to show very briefly, it's Mint. It is available for free and it lets you track all of your expenses and you can see a very cool view of your expenses right here on your Apple Watch. For obvious reasons, I'm not signed into my Mint account. However, once you're signed in, you can actually view all of your expenses and track them right here on your watch. It's a great app to have. iTranslate is one of the most useful applications that I've seen for the Apple Watch that not a lot of people are talking about. I think this is a really cool application and I think the fact that it's on your wrist makes it so much easier to use. Here's what you do. You talk into here using the microphone and it's going to translate that to whatever language you want. So there's a lot of different languages. It's called iTranslate and it's going to translate what you're saying into another language. And you can, of course, translate what other people are saying back into your language. So I think this is a great feature. Watch this. Where are the nearest bathrooms? A common question you may need to ask in a foreign country. And as you can see, it will come up with the text translation of what you're trying to ask. Now you can do the same thing, uh, you can translate from French to English if they give you an answer and then you can read the text of what their answer is. It's a very useful application for your Apple Watch. Another app to show off quickly is TripAdvisor. It lets you take a look at all the hotels nearby, things to do, restaurants, safe places. It's really convenient and easy to navigate right from your wrist. The last utility app that we have that's free for your Apple Watch is Tripcase. Now Tripcase allows you to instantly track your plane information as it's happening. So this is everything to do with your trip. You can actually track uh, a lot of different information, but their best feature that they're known for is tracking incoming planes. And you can actually see if there's an alert that's happening that the plane is going to be delayed or uh, if it's docking early or what the deal is. And as you can see, you can see the gate number, the terminal, where you're going. Uh, so this is a great application, especially for somebody that travels a lot. The first health and fitness app that we have is VimoFit. Now VimoFit is amazing because it actually customizes your workout based on your goals and personal fitness level. So what that's going to do is make a custom workout for you. Now the reason this is better than some of the other fitness apps out there is because those applications track your fitness but they don't tell you what you need to do to actually stay physically fit. If you click quick start on here, you can actually start your own 
fitness exercise right now that's catered to you and your needs and your personal goals for success. Now, it also provides video coaching in the iPhone app as well, which will actually show you everything you need to do to complete your exercise. And those exercises are tailored to you. Now, this is currently the number one Android Wear fitness app, and I'm sure it'll take the Apple Watch App Store by storm as well. Now, there is a new version that's going to be coming out once Apple releases additional features to the dev kit, which is going to allow it to track repetitions so they can more easily and effectively track everything you're doing within the application. It's a great app, and I recommend checking it out. It's available for free on the App Store. If you're looking for an application to not only track your fitness, but also track your calorie intake from eating, Lose It is the best application for you. It allows you to quickly plug in all of the different calories and foods that you ate throughout the day and track that versus your exercise to see your calorie intake and what you've expended on exercising. 7 Minute Workout is a very quick and easy application to run on your Apple Watch. All you have to do is hit Start Workout and it will put you through an exhilarating 7 minutes. 7 Minute Workout is designed for people who might be a little bit too busy to do their regular exercise regime, say through Vimo Fit or one of those other apps, and you need to do something very quickly. 7 Minute Fitness is the app for you because it will show you everything you need to do one after another in quick succession. Elevate is a different kind of fitness app. It actually builds the fitness of your brain by keeping track of your memorization, vocabulary, and more. Now, I'm a huge fan of Elevate on my iPhone as well, but on the Apple Watch, it has a lot of great mini games you can play to strengthen your brain. Now, as you can see, if you hit start, you can practice with some vocabulary, as you can see. We can continue on here. There's also math as well. So as you can see, there are a lot of fun mini games available in here. The reason I didn't put this into the game section is because this is more of a fitness app for your brain. Now we do have the best games for the Apple Watch coming out in a new video later this week. So be sure to look out for that video and hit subscribe if you aren't already because we have a lot of great Apple Watch content on the way. Amazon is a great application that lets you quickly and easily purchase items from your wrist. All you have to do is hit the search button, find the item you're looking for, and instantly order it. It's that easy and simple with a quick Amazon application. I love Yelp because it lets you quickly and easily find restaurants, bars, coffee and tea, and new locations near you. Now, I usually use the iPhone app, but now that I have my Apple Watch, I've found myself using the Yelp Apple Watch app. It's really easy because all you have to do is click on restaurants if you're hungry, and it'll come up with all the different restaurants in the area. You can even customize to what type of restaurant you're looking for and get directions from there. It's definitely a great addition to my Apple Watch. Ebates lets you earn discounts at your favorite stores when shopping online. You can add the Ebates application to view your favorite stores here and in the other tab also view some of your pending money that you've earned and saved with Ebates. I absolutely love Ebates and I recommend getting it using the link on the video. And the app lets you easily and quickly view your Instagram feed right here on your Apple Watch. You can look at all the different people that posted, read the comments, favorite it as well. You can also search for anything that you're interested in as well. And as you can see, the square images fit the Apple Watch screen pretty well. So I definitely like Instagram for the Apple Watch. Everyone's favorite instant messenger is also on the Apple Watch. Line allows you to view all of your chats, reply to them as you normally would. So I definitely like the fact that they've already integrated into the Apple Watch. It just shows commitment to their application. The Skype application allows you to view all of your unread messages and also respond to them as well. It's quick and easy and a great way to stay up to date on the go. The Twitter application allows you to see the recent tweets in your timeline or the top trends as well. And this allows you to see all the different tweets and even retweet and favorite right from your wrist. 
There's also a glance as well that will show you some of the top trends or tweets near you. Finally, for social apps, if Yo is your favorite social app, you can use that as well to send Yo's to whomever you want. It's really quick and easy, and I also like the simplistic interface available on the Yo Apple Watch app. As news goes, CNN is a great app that allows you to quickly and easily read articles right here from your Apple Watch, see the titles, read a little bit of the article. Unfortunately, you can't read the whole thing. That's my only complaint. But other than that, it gives you a quick update on what current stories in the United States are right now. The New York Times app allows you to quickly read some of the article blurbs from the New York Times. As you can see, it also comes complete with pictures as well. But unfortunately, again, you do have to open up the application on your iPhone to read the whole thing. But it makes it a little bit easier with the save for later option so you can quickly find what you were interested in reading. For all of you sports fans out there, my score is a great way to keep track of all of the scores of your favorite teams right from your watch. All you have to do is add a team to your favorites and you can see the current scores of the game, read up on articles, and more. Uber app, you can now quickly and easily summon Uber cars from your wrist. Pacemaker allows you to combine songs together to become your own DJ. It's a great application, I'm sure you'll love it. Looking to make something good for dinner? Yumly is a great application that lets you search all of the recipes to find an easy recipe to use and it'll tell you how to do everything right here on the watch and it'll even create a shopping list for you as well. WebMD Reminders allows you to quickly remind yourself when you need to take any kind of medication that you have instantly in the WebMD Reminders app. Finally, we have Pandora, which allows you to instantly listen to your favorite Pandora stations right from your Apple Watch. It's a great additional feature and allows you to listen to radio whenever, wherever you go. Thank you for watching our video on the best free apps for the Apple Watch. We're going to be coming out with another video on the best games for the Apple Watch and possibly the best premium apps for the Apple Watch as well. Let us know what your favorite apps are in the comment section below. I look forward to reading them. And it also helps out the community to find more amazing applications for their watch. Thank you guys for watching. Be sure to share the video with your friends so they can see the best free Apple Watch apps as well. Like the video, subscribe for more content, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye. The app that we have is CalcBot. Now CalcBot is my favorite calculator app on the Apple Watch because it has three amazing features all in one. Now the first feature allows you to quickly calculate sums, addition, subtraction, uh, and division and it's going to allow you to do this very quickly right here from the apps. So let's say we wanted to take 89, you press and hold uh, and then you can say times and then 58. And as you can see, it'll bring our result right there on the screen. Now if we go back, we can also take a look and see that there is a quick conversion tool available on here as well. Now if you click on convert, this is going to allow me to convert a different sum. So I can press firmly to convert US dollars to euros, uh, pounds to kilograms, miles to kilometers, and degrees Fahrenheit to degrees Celsius. So let's just do miles to kilometers right here. So let's do, let's say it's 52 uh, miles is going to be 83.6859 kilometers. And there are also additional features on the app as well. So you can choose which different conversions you want to be present uh, in the menu. So we go back here. My favorite part of the app is the tip calculator. This is so easy, so simple to use. Just click on the tip calculator right here and you can enter the bill totals. So let's say it's $98 and then add zero, zero, zero at the end there. I swipe down and I say what I want uh, the tip to be. So let's say I want to add a 20% tip which is customary. Uh, as you can see, I can add the total number of people. Let's say there were three people in my party. Track there one. Three different people, the total 
is now 39.20. Uh, the white balance is kind of canceling it out on the camera, but as you can see here, uh, 39.20 right there. And basically what it'll let you do is choose the percent tip, choose how many people to split the bill with. It's very quick and easy, and I think this is actually the best feature of this easy calculator. So that's CalcBot. I definitely recommend getting it. It's free on the Apple Watch. Trello is a great task managing application that works very well on the Apple Watch. Now you can actually add new cards right from the Apple Watch itself. Remind me to go grocery shopping later today. And then once you create a card, you can even choose the location to remind you where you need to go for it. Cancel on that. Scroll down and then you can hit go. Select location. We're going to choose our regular board here on how to use Trello and then select the list and tried it. And then we're going to go back and hit go. And as you can see, it is now saving it to one of our lists. We can view the card. We can add comments if we need to remember something later. So I could add a comment. Pick up onions and add that to the grocery list. Just hit go. And as you can see now, I have remind me to go grocery shopping later today and a comment that I made, pick up onions. Now, if you go back, you can also see recent cards, notifications, and do soon. In recent cards, to show you an example here, it'll obviously have the one I just made. But I also had this other one, film new Apple Watch video. And as you can see, I can add a comment. I can see when it's due. Uh, and I can see who posted it, because you can actually add multiple people in your group. You can have an organization. So if you have some people you're working on a project with, you can link it all up. It's a great task man managing application that is available for free on the Apple Watch. Next we have the very simple and easy to use SoundHound application right here on your Apple Watch. All I have to do is tap that big button and it will tell you what song is currently playing. Now of course you can use Shazam or you can ask Siri, but I like some of SoundHound's additional features which is why I prefer to use it over Siri uh, or over the Shazam application. There's also a Glances application as well that will go right into the app. Now the weather built into the Apple Watch is great for a quick glance, but what if you want additional details? Well, that's why I got the Weather Channel application. As you can see, on the front screen it's pretty similar to what you can get from the Apple Watch itself. However, once you swipe over, you can see a little graph of the hourly temperature change, the uh, humidity in the air. You can also go over and you can see that we have uh, the three-day forecast in the future as well. And there's also a radar on the next page. It also comes with glances as well to quickly show you a view of your weather. I definitely like this weather application and it is a great added bonus to the standard weather app on your app. Apple Watch. Everyone's favorite note application Evernote is also available on the Apple Watch. You can quickly view your recently updated notes just by tapping on them. And you can also search all of your notes or add a new note directly from the Evernote Apple Watch app. It's a great way to keep track of all of your different notes and information. One of the best things about the Apple Watch is that new applications are being added every single day.